if I get a little emotional and I stop and shed a few tears, uh, you just bear with me. It's my grandkids, all right? <laughs> Jake is the grandson, and Kaylee is now my granddaughter, and so uh, my first grandson to marry. So therefore, uh, I may get a little emotional, but it's all right. It's a special, special day. Uh, Kaylee, as we stand here today, I can't help but look back over the last six years that you have been in my life and think about how much different things would have been without you. I always cherish those long nights on FaceTime when we would talk for hours and I would try to explain to you that not having cell phone service and the Wi-Fi going out is an actual problem in Eastern Kentucky. <laughs> not just an excuse to stop talking to you. I'll definitely remember all the times we would sit in church camp and secretly break the rules and hold hands. We truly thought we were sneaky, but now that I work every year as a camp counselor, you can definitely tell when kids are holding hands. You are my dream come true. I prayed for you before I knew you, and I'm so glad God already had you picked out for me as a 10-year-old little girl praying for her future husband. You have shown me how to love with purity and acceptance. I love you for so many reasons, but I love you the most for your heart. <laughs> oh, wow. May the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ shape your marriage in all these ways. So when people see you out and about, they're able to say there is something different about the two of them, something different about the way they treat one another and care for one another. Our love story is just beginning, even though it's been inevitable from the moment we met. I vow to honor you, respect you, and encourage all of your dreams. I vow to allow you to be anything you want to be. I promise to always give you my heart and be true. I promise to cherish and care deeply for you in sickness and in health. I promise to be patient, understanding, faithful, and honest. You are the love of my life today and forever. I promise to pray with you and pray for you. I promise that even if we lost everything tomorrow, to always remember that God is faithful to us if we remain faithful to Him. It is my honor today to introduce to a large congregation of people, my grandson and granddaughter, Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Perkins.
You look absolutely stunning tonight, and you have always been so full of grace and poise, and you are truly a one in a million friend. And I have honestly enjoyed standing by your side through this whole wedding journey. And if you love some, I can be a friend. And if you're broken, I'll fix you up again. I wouldn't let you down. I'm gonna go all out for you. I'm gonna give. Their relationship has brought them together as one complete person. When you think about Jacob, you really do think about Kaylee and vice versa. They've become inseparable. And uh, that's when you know there's something special there and that God is the center and foundation of their relationship. Someday maybe we'll raise our kids together at Christian Baptist Campgrounds and they'll make friendships and memories to last a lifetime just like us. Maybe they'll even make 4 a.m. high hop runs with their buddies like their dads did. <laughs> but until then, I wish you both a lifetime of laughter, love, and happiness, and can't wait to watch you grow together. These two do make the perfect pair and they complement each other in so many ways. I know Jacob will always protect and defend and love Kaylee unconditionally with a relationship that is founded in Christ and that is more than good enough for me and everybody here to approve of. It's a known fact that lobsters fall in love and mate for life. So Kaylee, I am so glad that you found your forever lobster. Love you. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you all